Hi John, it's lovely to see you in Dorset. I know you spend a lot of your time in London. How's it been today? Uh, it's been really good, apart from the journey down, which is a bit hectic, uh, just because it's, the trains were delayed yet again, but... They're always delayed. Yeah, I know, but it's beautiful <laughs> weather and it's always nice to, to come down. So what have you been cooking? So I did three dishes um, for the fish course. I did a roast piece of turbot, some beautiful local mussels. They're huge, absolutely beautiful, um, with some white wine, some shallots and creme fraiche, really simple. And then for the main course, it was mallard. It's game season with some lentils, some chicory with an orange. And then pudding was autumn fruit. So you got pigs, figs, pigs, figs, plums, <laughs> and blackberries baked in a parcel with a cream cheese mousse. But you cook with so much enthusiasm. You make it look so easy. And I know your book, Simple yeah. and Sensational, is that what you hope to, to promote for everyone to start cooking? Yeah, I mean, cooking is simple. I think a lot of it is people are intimidated about cooking, find it really difficult. And it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's you know a game of football. When, when people become nervous at doing something, even though they've been doing it for years and years, they don't perform as well. So you could imagine for a novice cook, if they're already intimidated about stepping into a kitchen, it just makes it all the more harder. You know, if you make mistakes, it really doesn't matter. It's just food. What advice would you give to people then? Cook with confidence and be organised. So if you cook from a cookbook, uh, like most people do, I'd read the recipe, understand it completely beforehand, need what equipment that you need before you start cooking, shop for the ingredients, have everything in front of you, and then you do everything in stages. So you do all the preparation first, and then once everything's prepared, then you cook everything, and that way your focus is only on one thing at a time. So the last thing you want to do is start cooking and think, oh, I haven't got this pan, or I haven't got this ingredient. So you kind of break it down into stages, and it just makes it a lot easier to work. I have to ask you, you come from quite a diverse background. Yeah. Um, brought up in Britain, I think you were born in America, yep. and you have Japanese parents. How has that influenced your cooking? Um, I think most of the influence for my cooking has come from my mum. Amazing cook, you know, I grew up loving food and I think being a great chef you have to have a passion for food and you get that ultimately from experience and, and mainly your parents, you know, and I was just fortunate enough to grow up with amazing food. Okay, we're coming up to 2013 and um, you're a busy guy, I see you frequently on Saturday Kitchen, Market Kitchen, Street Kitchen is a big venture of yours and obviously demonstrations and yeah. what else have you got planned for the new year? New year, next year, yeah. my, my own restaurant. So I left Pearl uh, six weeks ago, so I've been there for eight years, no it was uh, 2005, so we opened up seven years ago and then I've always wanted to um, own my own restaurant, so hopefully by summer next year I'll have my own restaurant in London. Whereabouts? Uh, well, looking for a site at the moment. So. Be You're going to keep us posted. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's lovely to meet you great and meet great you. food, and it tasted delicious. Thank you very much.